What is going on today guys? Tom Cat here and today we are back for another episode of Forza Horizon 2. Now in this episode we're going to be continuing the road trip and entering and hopefully coming at least close to finishing that last championship before we unlock the Horizon finale. Um, I do apologize that uh, the schedule has been a little bit crazy and I haven't been able to get as many of these videos out for you guys as I, uh, as I was originally planning but a review of the Chevy SS is coming um, but I wanted to get a little bit a little bit further along in the career and then do the review of that car now let's do a championship that we can use the alpha 4c in because i'm really 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 liking that uh that car um and we, it's good because we haven't actually done that championship yet so we can go ahead and, and head and head right into the uh the championship or the road trips sorry with the alpha 4c all right i really enjoyed myself today the last couple of races in that championship were brilliant now, this road trip is moving on, this time to San Giovanni. And remember, this isn't about getting there first. It's about enjoying the journey. He said it was long. It's only five miles. How is that a long road trip? In 400 yards, bear right. Let's see, there's a car up there I need to take a picture of. Let me see. Oh, okay. And pause. Yes. Yes, that's very... Actually, I like that picture. That's a nice picture. I like that a lot. Are you kidding me? I've owned that 4C for a while, and apparently I still haven't taken a picture of it. That's ridiculous. But yeah, no, that's a cool shot. I like it a lot, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. A lot of the pictures that you find yourself liking... A lot of the time are pictures that you just kind of randomly take like it is weird it's kind of weird but if, if you're just like oh wait I need to take a picture of this and it's just like kind of a random picture it's almost you, you almost get better pictures that way Wow I can't catch the Trans Am are you serious jeez man here we go here we go yes all right we got an Evo up next Evo's breaking all over the place. Got crazy breaking points. Oh my god. Okay. Veyron SS. What's up, bro? Turn right. Jeez. Oh, actually, in a recent episode, one of you guys, um, I think it might have been actually a car review, uh, one of you guys was asking why I have ABS on, and I... I See, the thing about it is, I didn't use it for a long time. I didn't use it in, in Forza 4, Forza Horizon, Forza 5, or at least for... And then for the first uh, three quarters of the game in Horizon 2, I didn't use it either. And unlike pretty much any other Forza game, I feel like Horizon 2 was the only Forza game where I felt like I actually needed to use ABS. And I, I don't know what the deal was with it, but it almost felt like... It almost felt like the the braking balance without ABS was just really weird and I would be I was just locking up the brakes all the time like all the time all the time all the time and I figured I'm driving so many of these modern cars anyway that all pretty much have ABS already that I might as well go ahead and use it and that's kind of the idea I had behind that and it just kind of felt like it had a little bit of a different feel than the previous Forza games to me we're gonna go ahead and take another picture because we need a picture of that javelin before we go on. I've just noticed something. That Veyron has a... Yeah, that Veyron has a completely broken nose. Looks pitiful. <laughs> um, oh, another game that uh, that I've been playing a little bit of lately that I'm going to be bringing to you guys soon um, is Farming Simulator 2015. Now, I've played a little bit of it, and... I really like it. It's definitely a step up from the last one, and the cool thing about it to me, or the cool things that the stuff that I've been really liking is the fact is the fact that it's really, really detailed. But at the same time, it it, it doesn't manage to be like at all over detailed or anything. It's not like it's not some kind of it's not some kind of game where they focused on nothing but the uh, you know nothing but the graphics. The gameplay is really, really nice. It, it it's it's a really fluid game. It flows well. Um, there's no real hiccups with it at all in, at least in the beginning of the game that I've played. And, see, there's a destination less than a mile away. That was not a long road trip. 
But um, back to Farming Simulator 2015, and I missed my corner. That's okay. I can catch the next one. Calculating route. It's not a race anyway. I can catch this one. But um, so yeah, with Farming Simulator 2015, the other big thing that I really like about it is the fact that it's just really relaxing. Like, it's just a really, re really, 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 really relaxing game. <coughs> wow, excuse me. And, uh, it's up there, I would say, with Euro Truck and... Let's see, what else? It's up there with Euro Truck and a couple of other simulators, at least in that kind of, um, relaxation factor, I guess you could say. Um, just because of the fact that you can just... You can just start playing it, and... You know, you, you've got your tasks, and then you can hire... Uh, hire workers to do whatever tasks you're not doing and It's just a really calm game, but at the same time, there's a lot of substance to it There's a ton of substance to it actually uh, when you really get into it I mean, I haven't even touched any of the uh, like the lumber Game mechanics or anything like that. So welcome to the sports car championship We've got a good mix of cars on the grid for this one should be some tough competition for you Go on mate choose a race to start the championship all right, cool. Let's do this street race. Should be simple enough. I may or may not go and get some upgrades on this car after we do this. You leveled up. Apparently we have to do the wheel spin before it'll let us start the race. Now we can start the race. So we'll be up against stuff like 370Zs, F-Type Jags. The, I think the F-Type is really the only car in this championship that I'm, I guess you could say, concerned about going up against in the Alpha 4C because the F-Type is quite a bit quicker in a straight line. But the 4C is going to be, it's going to be more balanced through the corners. See, we got like an SLK, F-Type. Should be interesting, that's for sure. 370, wow, that paint job. That paint job's ridiculous. And you know what? I see another photo opportunity. I mean, you guys are probably like... At this point, you guys are probably like, Oh my god, stop taking pictures. But... Nissan G-Shock 370? I didn't even realize that, there was a special, that that was a special edition. But, um... Yeah, you guys are, at this point are probably like, Oh my god, stop taking pictures already. Well, I want to get those photo challenges done. I mean, it's... It's like, if, if they're not done, if any, if any, like, one little thing like that isn't done, I feel like it's, like, I just feel like it's nagging at me until I actually, until I actually get it done. And I don't know why I had to rewind there. It just, was, I don't know. It was weird. I don't really have to rewind a lot at that corner. With it. Stay on the power, stay on the power. Dang, man, this is a little too close for me. I'm gonna have to go to the upgrade shop after this. Excuse me, 370, God. Ow, damn. AI just launched itself into you. It's crazy. Forget about clean racing bonuses or anything like that. When you're racing against AI like this, at least. But, I mean, not again, not to be not to be mean about the AI. Really. Not to be mean about the AI or the tri the Drivatars. It's actually a good thing the way they the way they behave because it prepares you for how aggressive Whoa! For how aggressive players are online. Because online, players can and will come at you out of nowhere, and they will break right in front of you, and they will, I mean... And since the Drivatars are a representation of the players anyway, it's probably a lot more accurate than a lot of people think. At least that's how it feels to me. See what I mean? There goes the F-Type on the straight. It just flies by me. Oh, come on, yes! I had a good run in that corner. Ooh, stole the inside from him. Completely. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Lost it completely there. I think I can rescue it, though. Yeah, we're good. Now, as long as we can stick with it, we'll be good to go. Oh, no. Oh, no. No way. <laughs> that was an intense race. Really intense. And you know what? I might actually not upgrade the car right now because I want to keep the races that close and that intense because that's fun. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the next three races are all off-road, which is ridiculous because we're in sports cars. It doesn't make any sense. It just absolutely does not make a single bit of sense. Look, okay, we've got a cross-country, a trail race, and a scramble, all of which are, well, some are like half off-road, half on-road, um, some of them are mostly off-road. It's just kind of a weird, um, weird set of races for a sports car championship, I would think. I would, personally, I would think that the event lineup would be really similar to the supercar championships. At least that's what I was planning for. But no, 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 no. Once it loads, maybe. <laughs> Some of the races take a lot longer to load than others. F-Type 370, another 4C. Don't remember seeing another 4C in the last race. I don't think there was another 4C in the last race. Ooh, TVR! Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, I gotta catch that Genesis. Every time there's a Genesis around, I just gotta go catch it. The 370 would move anyway. Well, not anymore. Because I moved around him. He didn't have to move. <gasps> oh my god, I thought that... Jeez, I thought that was gonna be a hard right. And no, but no, it's just a, it's just like a kink. Oh my god! This circuit is weird! Come on! Damn it, come on! Man, there's some weird breaking points, too. They just don't seem to add up properly, and then all of a sudden, everybody's breaking like crazy. I know I need a picture of that TVR, but... I'm not con Whoa, Genesis, okay. I'm not concerned about it right now. In fact, actually, yes. I'll just go ahead and get it right now while I can get it. I can get it right now while I can get it, because... The race is, is going to keep getting more and more and more and more intense. And I may not see that TVR again. Stay in the power, stay in the- Whoa, really? Oh, okay, there's a little invisible lip right there. There we go. Excuse me. There's just certain corners that you can really exploit over the AI. The AI just doesn't quite take the quickest line. And if you can take the quickest line, you're golden. You're good to go. Like right there, you can just take them on the inside every time. As expected, the F-Type out in front. Way out in front. Got this one lap to catch it. Keeping traction on the dirt is really tricky. Really gotta focus at this point. I can use this spot to my advantage. Big time. I 
I wouldn't say it was the cleanest pass, but it was effective. I mean, even if he wasn't there and I didn't, you know, just bounce off the side of his car, I still would have been able to get through the corner just fine. So, I mean, as long as you're not using them as bumper cars the whole way, you're fine in my book. Yes, there's the finish. And backwards. Okay, we'll chalk that up as another win. Nice work, mate. All right. Man, we are close. We are really, really, really close. These races are nice and short, too, so we can go ahead and... Should be able to go ahead and finish at least one more. I mean, if not, then we'll try for two more. Two more would be sweet. If we could just finish them all in this episode, that would be absolutely amazing. Let's do the cross country and then we'll save that la that that trail race for last because the cross country races are usually harder and I want to get them out of the way as quickly as I can oh let me select it come on there we go be quiet phone oh my god I hope you guys didn't hear that my phone's making noises in the background. <laughs> yeah, it's very professional of me. I should have remembered to turn it off, like I always do. I always do, I always remember to turn it off. Except, except this time. Ooh, yes, getting the acceleration edge on the Mercedes. Yes. Need a picture of that TT. I'll get it in a second. Ow! God! Whoa! Whoa, God! That was ridiculous. Now's as good a time as any. It really is. Now's as good as the uh, now's as good a time as any to get a picture of that TT. Now that we have it, we're good. Alright, back to racing. Woo, boy! No, no, no bad TBR. Come on! Whoa, 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 I can't see where I'm... Well, I couldn't see where I'm going for a... Couldn't see where I was going for a second there, anyway. I was worried back there that there was going to be an invisible wall. There's sometimes, like, there's there's sometimes are invisible walls around those houses that they can, like, that you can get snagged on. It's only happened a couple times, but it's made me really, like, attentive to those little houses. Um, because you're always, like, slightly concerned because you're like, invisible wall? Invisible wall? Please no. Oh, the jag. Okay. I was like, where's the jag? Where's the jag? He's right there. And I just went right through the barrier because I can't see anything. Managing to hold it. Not bad. Oh, come on. Merc just went way out in front. Avoid the trees. I saw myself heading for the trees and I was like, eh, uh -uh, no way. Not gonna happen this time. God, this last part is ridiculous. Dang that I think that, that I think the SL is gonna get it. At least in this last part, the SL is going to get it. Oh no! Yes! Oh my god! That was ridiculously close. Ridiculously close. Best drivers can't win them all. This was still a good race. That was a ridiculous finish, dude. Oh my god. And yeah, you know what? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do the last race in this episode. Just the whole championship, this episode. It's been a while since I've done that, actually. 
now that I think of it, it's been a while since I've done a whole championship in one episode. I mean, usually because I like to keep my episodes under 20 minutes to keep the um, upload time a little bit more manageable, but, I mean, I mean, hey, if you're that close to finishing a championship, you might as well. Again, once it loads. That's the thing, once it loads. We'll go ahead and do our wheel spin. Bowl or EXRS? All right. Plus an additional uh, 215,600 credits. All right, sweet. Congrats. You just bagged our top cash prize. Why don't you head over to the auto show and buy yourself something? All righty, let's do this. This should be good. This should be good. Every time I see the front end of the, uh, of the 4C, it's so, it's so cool, except for, I don't know, I'm still, still trying to get to grips with those headlights. They're weird looking. To me, anyway, they're weird looking. You've come this far. One more will be enough. I'm assuming this is going to be a pretty short race. It looked like it was going to be on the map, I think. At least if, if, if it's the race I'm remembering, it should be decently short. Ow. Can't take the inside too hard on these city streets. Come on, come on, come on, come on. me it's crazy I'm just like get off me already we cut that just a little bit that nah, didn't really work I got this SL that SLK and then two F types to pass we're already at 40, well, 41%, 42 now, and it's rising really, really quickly, so we got to make sure we stay on our game and not let those guys get too far ahead. Ah, okay, that's not going to work. That's not going to work whatsoever. Still not going to work. Like, yeah, we need to do a couple of rewinds for that. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, now just stick with it. Alright, we've passed the SL, or SLK. Whatever. Oop. To the middle. There we go. Not really the middle of the corner, it was more the inside line, but... I actually lost a lot of speed on that corner. I want to try it again because I was so close to that F-type in front of me. That was nice of him, he moved over to let me pass. <laughs> I don't even know why, he just moved over, that was legit. Now all we have to do is hold first. Crap, I can't cut that corner. I always cut that corner and then I saw the checkpoint and I was like, damn it, that's not going to go well if I cut it. There we go. Didn't need the rewind to last that long. Get grip, get grip, get grip. It got grip right before we hit the wall. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, it was inches before we hit the wall. Had to have been. Mm, it was, eh, it was kind of a sloppy corner, but it's okay. It's okay, because we're almost there. 
Oh god. Okay, didn't realize that corner was going to be that tight. There's the finish. Full power, full power to the finish. We've got this. And my signature cross the line backwards thingy. Brilliant. You're really starting to pick up a following. That's another championship in the bag. Oh yes. Attract the following. Hey mate. Unbelievable performance. You've now won enough championships to enter the horizon finale. Let's head back to the festival and get ready. All right, sweet. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Forza Horizon 2, then don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.